Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to week 6, day 2 of the Bleach Bones $30,000 League of Arenas tournament. I am EG Azale, and I think I'm solo casting today. I don't know, maybe I'll bring someone in. Who knows, but anyway, we are going to have two matchups. I'm not going to lie to you, I don't think I've even affected standings whatsoever, so they don't matter. Hooray! But we're going to watch them anyway, and hopefully there's going to be some good games. Um, but it is going to be Jägermeister team versus Sonic Kids, and the bands, as you can see, are starting very quickly. Uh, Feral's being banned out on either side. No big surprise there. Eviction Warlock has the first pick here for Jägermeister team, and Shadow Priest is going to be the first pick uh, for Sonic Kids. So I think that we're going to see a Frost Mage ban here for Jägermeister team. Uh, could be the Ellie ban. I mean, you know, uh, that is you know reasonable ban as well. So Ellie ban is the ban there for Jägermeister team. And uh, we're going to see Riles coming in almost 100%. Riles probably going to pick himself here uh, on that Frost Mage. He, he does like to play that Frost Mage Shadow Priest comp. We are going to have uh, the Resto Druid as the ban as well for their team. So they're obviously thinking that Jägermeister team was going towards LSD or something. But um, the danger of doing that is you can obviously allow them to play that Ellie Shaman. Now they could play uh, Lock Ellie Shaman Priest or, uh, or Paladin or, or something like that. So, you know, they, they did allow them to get that kind of Lock. The Affliction Lock Ellie Shaman combo if they want it, but they're not going to go for it. Uh, Resto Drew will be the pick here for this next team uh, for Sonic Kids. And I mean, the, the way that the reason people kind of do it like this is because it hides what your intentions are as long as possible. And oh my god, Warrior's the pick. Okay. Alright, well, okay. So Warrior is, <laughs> is the pick there uh, for Jägermeister team. And it's going to be WLS versus. Uh, Shadow Priest, Mage, Druid. So I think this is going to be a rough one for Jägermeister team. Um, I feel like the only way this is really going to hurt Sonic Kids in the standings is if they, if they lose 0-2. And I, I don't know. I mean, with these bans already, I think Jägermeister team is going to have a <laughs> it's going to have a tough time, man. Uh, WLS is is not a very strong comp. Hello to everyone in the chat. I see you guys all saying hi and everything. So hello, hello to you all as well. Look at this, look at this beautiful scene here. Wow, how majestic is that? All right, so uh, hopefully gonna get invited any moment here. And um, we can get all queued up. Beautiful. There you go, I'll see it for you guys. Um, but anyway, yeah. We're basically getting down to the to the last games here, guys. If you guys haven't really been uh, following along, then you might not know that. But uh, we have only today and tomorrow, and that is going to be uh, what is actually determining the last uh, standings for these for these teams. And you can see um, that you know the red group is all done. Top four made it out. Uh, Tesoro team has secured their place in first place. Uh, second place is guaranteed second place as far as I know I don't think there's any way that they can get past so uh, they are in fact guaranteed second place um, then we have mushroom company who's just hoping for everyone to lose every game because um, they only have nine points and they are there are no matches remaining so the only way the mushroom company can make it in is if everyone lost every game that that is below them basically like if bleach bones wins one round in their next thing they they pass them if USA 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 wins uh, you know their series that they pass him Sonic Kids has two more series they could pass him um, so Mushroom Company you know they're kinda in a position where they just have to hope for everyone else to suck pretty much so it's kind of you know rough spot for them but more than likely what's gonna happen um, is that you know Jägermeister team they, they, they're not they haven't proven to be a very strong team so you know, I'm expecting I'm expecting Sonic Kids to be Jägermeister team. Uh, that's going to put them at nine points, and I think that they they have beaten Mushroom Company. But I'm not sure about that. Regardless, that will put them up at nine points. Um, and then Bleach Bones also has to play Jägermeister team still. So and I think they're going to beat them as well. Uh, that will guarantee Bleach Bones third place. And then all it's going to come down to is Jägermeister team or sorry, um, USA 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 versus Sonic Kids, which is our first matchup tomorrow. Uh, and that matchup will decide who's probably going to get fourth place in the group. Uh, second place also has to play Jägermeister team, but even if they win, they already lost Soro team. So even if they get the same amount of points, they lose the head to head. So Soro team is already guaranteed their first place uh, matchup. So, anyway, um, 
that is a uh, is yeah. That's how it is, man. Uh, let's see, there we go. Got invited. So anyway, guys, uh, what that does mean is that next weekend is going to be the start of the playoffs, which is going to be there should be no more uh, no more weak teams or anything like that. Um, it should be should be pretty sick. Um, I, I'm pretty excited for it to be honest with you. Uh, we are going to be uh, practicing up and, and hopefully going to be able to, to take out you know a really tough team. Well, we're going to be playing Tesoro team, which is uh, the first place first place uh, team from from their group. As uh, as we you know shit the bed a bit last uh, last week, so so now we're fourth place, so we have to play a really hard team. Um, but you know we're obviously going to practice up and do our best, and uh, hopefully it is going to work out for us. But regardless, uh, definitely let your friends know and everything that um, that next week is going to be the playoffs because that is when uh, the exciting games are going to be starting off, and I think that there's only going to be very good teams remaining, so it should be you know a higher quality uh, of of tournament, I guess. Uh, or high quality of series and things like that starting next week which should be pretty cool um, also worth mentioning is that tomorrow is also a pretty important day because that is going to decide uh, you know basically who gets who gets through it's going to decide if bleach bones gets through it's going to decide if um, if Ryle's team gets through so uh, a lot of stuff is really all, all being kind of figured out there uh, tomorrow Uh, who is the warrior? The warrior is Connor. Okay, oh, was, well, close enough. Whatever. Alright, so it is going to be, as I said, Sonic Kids uh, playing that Shadow Priest comp. And that is Echo. I believe Echo and should be Phenovers here. Yeah, Phenovers, okay. So everything should be set up with that. Perfect. So this is going to be um, our first. Our very first uh, best of three today, guys, and um, it is going to be Jagermeister team versus Sonic Kids. It is the WLS from Jagermeister team here uh, going up against the Shatter play from Sonic Kids. Hopefully, going to be some pretty good games, and you know it is it is relatively important for for Sonic Kids. You know, um, this is a, this is definitely a, a match that everyone's expecting them to win. I think and. Uh, if they do lose 2-0, then I think that it's possible that they could get screwed in the standings. But I don't, I don't expect that to happen. They only really need to win one best of three for this to matter at all. Uh, but regardless, I, I think that they're going to be taking it pretty seriously, and um, we're going to see how it goes. I mean, WLS definitely not the strongest setup, um, but uh, I guess that they couldn't. You know, Jagermeister team couldn't really play Ellie and all that stuff. Otherwise, I think they would have picked it, but uh, they didn't decide to go for that. So as soon as the countdown is ready, we are going to be going. And we are at 15 seconds right now. Alt Z hides everything, guys. I'm just waiting for the countdown, and then I do that, and then it is fine, as you can see. So here we have it. Gateway going down there for Sherco. He's going to be able to complete that. Uh, Riles, Echo, and Phenomenal is going to be coming out. Just going to be getting those pre-hots up right now, but he does go into the prowl. Um, and we are going to have... Uh, Kalanyurik just charging in. He's going to be starting off onto the Shadow Priest. He tries to reflect that clone on himself, but it's a little bit too late. Phenomenal is going to be able to land that. Now the clone gets swapped over on a Shirko. There's a Sheep on a Napper Cole. Deep Freeze comes out on him. They're going to be going hard on a Napper Cole right off the bat. Silence probably going to come off this. There's the Bash instead. Uh, he's, he's trying to sit through everything, but there's a Silence. And is he going to have to die over there in that Devouring Plague? He, oh, wow. He has to trigger at the very end of the Silence on the other side of the map after already having Hellstone and Battle Mastered. So a great opening here for Sonic Kids. And now Kalanyurik in some trouble as well. He's down to 34% HP. Uh, Shurko has popped his Demon Soul, but um, not being able to get a ton done with it. And the Demon Soul does expire now. Uh, Klonyrik into the route. Uh, he is going to be trying to get back over onto that Shadow Priest. You can see he has his Reflect Pop, was trying to get a Reflect out on the clone uh, for Phenomers, but now that's not available. So he is going to retreat once again back behind the pillar and 
Uh, we're going to see him going out onto Riles. Now, Riles uh, is going to be the target. You see the CS onto Echo. The UA dispel caught there by Phenomers. Riles uh, could be in a little bit of trouble, but he's going to catch the Iron Bark there from Phenomers. Uh, he has full hots, and we're just waiting to see when is Sonic Kids going back to the Shaman. A nice gateway there preemptively uh, by Napper Cole. He knows that they're coming for him, uh, and he's trying to stay away. He needs to top himself back off. He needs to be at 100% when this, when this swap comes, and I mean... Uh, he's got to know that it's coming. He does drop the Monotide. Uh, there's the NS clone. They're going to be going hard on Kalonurek. Uh, Devouring Plague was used on him. Deep Freeze going to have to be triggered. If Shield Wall goes up, but uh, is it going to be too late? The Healing Tide was put down in between. There was a little a little gap in between that CC chain from Fenabra. So we got the Healing Tide down. Everyone is fine now. Uh, but they're going to be looking to swap back to Napper Cole. We see Fenabra into the clone. Or rather, into that fear. Uh, Shirko taking some damage here. Throws out the Death Coil onto Riles. Riles may be forced into his first Ice Block here. Another fear coming out onto Fenabra. He is in the tree form, but uh, looks like he's going to be fine. And I think they are trying to move back over to Napper Cole. But a nice gateway once again may force them to go on to Klonirik. Uh, we see there's the Warrior Fear on Riles. Riles is going to sit through that. Echo pushing forward, taking a little bit of damage here from the Warrior. Uh, Frostfire Bolt comes crashing into Klonirik. Klonirik uh, going to be down about 60% HP. There's a Nova. Uh, Palm Sheep comes out of Napper Cole. He has no trigger available. Siphon doing work. Die by the sword up there for Klonirik. The CC is going to come in on Napper Cole. Bash out on him. 40% HP on Klonirik. He's going to pop uh, Swifty here. All the cooldowns are up, but I think he's going to die in the Steep Freeze. 10% HP. The MCS goes out. Uh, will it be enough? Uh, 5% HP. Last Stand comes out as well. He's catching some heals here from Napper Cole. The Spirit Link goes down. Uh, Shirko needs to get in there. Will he be able to? Uh, doesn't look like it just yet, but now uh, they have stabilized somewhat. A big heal is going to land there from Napper Cole. Uh, the Trigger came up just in time to get that Link off, but it means that if they do swap back to him, he's not going to have it. 50% HP on Napper Cole. 50% HP on Klonirik. There's a Silence on a Napper Cole. Uh, both of them getting dangerously low. DP comes out on Klonirik. Down at 20% HP. It leaps behind the pillar. Uh, double Death Range is available. They're both going to gate out. Uh, they will escape for now, so the WLS doing a good job surviving the gateway being dotted up here by Echo. Forward Phenomers looking for a drink. He's going to get it. He's going to be going back to full mana here. No uh, pressure on his team whatsoever, so he's just going to drink to full. And we can see that there's the gate once again by Shirko. He's got to get out of there. Napper Cole now into the fear. There's the deep freeze coming out. Will the silence be off of it? Uh, Phenobras is in a fear as well. Napper Cole does get the gap on, on that CC. No silence came out. He got the Hellstone and the Battlemaster down, but he's falling behind. Echo forced him to disperse. 30% uh, HP. Had to do it. Everyone's going to gate out. Uh, Riles now once again chasing after them. Shirko in some trouble here. Petsack goes up for him. He's going to... Going to get shattered very likely though, but Klonyark charging back out. Uh, wants to get aggressive once again here. There's the Palm Sheep on a Napper Cole. Uh, Klonyark going to have to get out. He does intervene behind the pillar. A nice job actually uh, by Klonyark just avoiding this damage as much as possible, even going for the first aid there. But will it be enough? The Warrior Fear comes out. Full clone on Napper Cole. Actually a fantastic job by Klonyark so far. He's going to gate out once again. Shirko though uh, needs to get back to the gate as well. He's going to gate out now. Napper Cole, he goes through. They're all back together on the other side. Should be able to get top back off and Aubrey. Pops NS. He was looking for an NS clone or something, but he's in stealth right now. Uh, the pounce comes out. There's the NS clone on Shirko. It's going to be unbound uh, by Shirko. Uh, the reflect goes up on Klonyark. He does get DP'd, but he's going to be okay. He's going back on Echo. They want to kill him before Disperse gets back up. They have a minute and a half or so to do it. Will they be able to? Die by the sword being popped there by Klonyark. Uh, Rigo's coming out here for, by, from Fenovers. Uh, Kleiner going to gate out once again. Deep freeze on Napricol. They're looking for the sheep. Can they get it? They do. He has trinket available, but not going to use it just yet. Hellstone comes out there from Kleiner. He's pulling back. He's on to the Riles. Riles going to pop the orb, though. Reflect goes up there from Kleiner, trying to reduce the damage. Oh, uh, we see DP going to come landing in, though. 18% uh, HP. He's going to have to trinket. Wall comes back up once again. Napricol, though, gets to sit through the CC. Bash now after the clone. Another DR poly. Actually, is that? No, yeah, it is DR. It is a half poly. Uh, there's a charge over from Kleiner. Uh, we are going to see a, now a, a DR deep freeze there. Napricol did shrink at something. I'm not exactly sure what. Maybe a silence there. Um, but regardless, Kleinerick does survive. A Ring Frost going down. Not going to be real. He will be feared off on that. Thunderbird's full mana has the fear ward. He's going to be fine. The WLS is surviving a lot better uh, than I thought they would, honestly. I, I thought this was going to be uh, a much more one-sided game, you know, especially with that opener. I'm just not sure why Riles and them haven't tried to go for a kill on the Shaman. I mean, they're just constantly going for this warrior, but he's doing a great job getting away. He's doing a great job surviving, so, you know, why not swap it up? But there's the deep freeze on the Kalanurek. Silence on an Apricol. Uh, Riles gets locked, though. Uh, the Devouring Plague comes in. Frostfire Bolt comes out. And it's clone on an Apricol. 
Quanirik needs to get out of there. Will he be able to? Reflect goes up. 30% HP. The NS comes out. Uh, the Ascendants goes down. Palm Sheep comes out on an Epicole. There's the Intervene. The Gateway has been killed off. They need to get another one. Shirko has to do that. And that's really the only reason they've been surviving so far. You know, is that Gateway. It's so important for the Warlock team. And he's going for that Gateway cast. He does get it. Great job by him. Banus comes out onto the Siphine. Phenomers now. 80% mana. Going to drop uh, uh, those shrooms behind the pillar we see there's a cs on the echo echo now uh it does have full hots on him there's the deep freeze on the napper cold they're gonna maybe swap it over finally going back to napper cold here he's gonna get out on the south so nice job i am immediately getting out of there uh we can see some damage coming in on riles now riles popping uh that temporal shield but will it be enough he's gonna get full hots he's down to 30 percent will they use the iron bark death coil comes out ice block is forced uh, Jägermeister team looking to turn things around, but there's Klonjerk down to 20% HP. Pounce on Shirko. Palm Sheep on Napper Cole. Klonjerk has to get out of there. He's using second wind. He has the air shield. He pops his Hellstone. Uh, they're going to have to use new some make some new Hellstones. I mean, uh, that would be great if they could do it, but look at Shirko. Maybe he's just going to get 100 to 0 here. He just popped the pet sack, but he's getting really low himself. And if they can make that new soul well, that would be fantastic. I'm not sure if they're going to recognize the fact that they're going to need it, but three Hellstones have been used now by Klonjerk here. We can see there's the defreeze onto, uh, or rather, uh, the demon soul being popped there by Shirko. He's going to use his health stones once again. Uh, he's going to have to have healed the full by that, but he is going to have a shield wall. He's not going to have his pet sack, but he won't have his healing cooldowns either, and no trinket. So uh, Shirko is a pretty good kill target here as well now uh, for Sonic Kids. But uh, you know, as we can see, we're we're getting closer to that timeout. Of a Klonier going to be bursted hard here. He goes into deep freeze. He's going to trigger it as he sees the devouring plague and that shadow fiend coming out. He knows the big damage is going to be coming in. There's the NS clone on an Apricol once again. Klonier should probably just gate out of there. Needs to be careful. Shirko though in some trouble. He has to tap. He's 30% HP. He has no healing cooldowns as I said earlier. The wall goes up there from him, um, but a little bit, a little bit late. Um, and he is going to be able to be okay. We do see there's the MCS on an Apricol. Fear on a Phenomers. Riles in some trouble. The Evil Kate comes in. He's going to get locked. He can't blink now. Uh, cooldowns have been popped here by Klonurik. So if he's in town, he's looking to do some damage, man. Uh, the U8 is well going to be caught by Phenomers. They're swapping it over onto Echo. They could get some good damage out on him. No hots are up just yet. But uh, we do see that Disperse is available once again. So does it even really matter? I don't think so. Uh, now the orb going to be dropped once again. Shirko uh, going to be the target here. Shirko with really nothing else uh, left as far as uh, defensive cooldowns right now. Rosso down to 40%. Echo 40% as well. Tree has been popped here by Phenovers. Shirko in some trouble. DP comes in. 30% HP. He's got to get out of there. He does. Uh, his shaman going to gate after him. 20% HP on the him now. Uh, we can see that the pet sack goes up. Klonurik going to be bashed on the other side, but he got the shield wall up preemptively. A nice job there by Klonurik. Uh He's going to be okay with that shield wall for now, but he needs to get back to his team. He has to get out of there. He does so. Uh, we see that the clone is going to land on him on the other side of the map. Uh, the sheep is on Napper Cole. Siphon goes down. They may want to swap to Napper Cole here as he's uh, very susceptible. Instead, they're just chasing after Klonurik, who is mounted up, <laughs> LOSing. He says, screw this. You're not getting to me. Uh, Napper Cole into the deep freeze now. Shatter comes in. He's down to 70%. Clone going to be on Klonurik. Uh, now Echo going to be Hex. They're going to be swapping it back onto him. Hot's going to have to go up for Phenobers. We do see uh, that he is going to be able to get those Hots up. Iron Bark goes down as well. And now CS comes in onto Shirko. Full dots are up on him. Napricol going to catch the VT to spell on his whole team. That's annoying. Uh, the silence goes down on Napricol. Are they going to swap it over onto him? Shatter comes in. He gates out. <laughs> and they are... Getting close to this timeout, man. 9.30 into the game. WLS refusing to go down here. They've been on the back foot the whole time, but uh, they don't give a shit. They're going to stay alive, man. Uh, we do see Klonurik now charging back out. They're on to Riles. There's the Death Coil. Uh, we do see that Shockwave coming in as well. Iron Bark, full hots up on him. Echo going to be looking to help him out a little bit, perhaps. Uh, Palm going down. We do see uh, that the shield is going to be caught as well. Uh, we see the emotes spammed in chat. That's just fantastic. The gateway getting targeted once again. It may go down. Uh, DP came out. And um, the Shadow Fiend is down there. Klonurik in a lot of trouble. Die by the sword goes up. Hellstone last stand. Napper Cole going to be bashed off that. Klonurik could go down here. 20% HP. He needs to get out. He does so. Uh, Riles trying to get back. But he's going to be spammed feared. Napper Cole into the silence. Can Klonurik survive? Double death could come in. 20% HP. NS comes out. It crits. Klonurik going to be fine. 30 seconds remaining. And uh, we are going to see the timeout, I do believe, here in game one. This uh, deep freeze goes down on Napper Cole, but he has his trinket. Uh, 25 seconds. Phenobers is oom, but, you know, can they really capitalize on that? Don't think so. Death Gold goes out on Phenobers. Looking for some more CC, perhaps. Nope, not just yet. He still has that fear ward. 
Uh, Fierce going to be put out on Riles. 10 seconds remaining here. And that is going to be that. 5, 4, 3, 2. Can they kill Quanirk actually? Uh, uh, nope. There's the timeout. All right. Even if he dies now. Uh, how mad are they? They killed him 10 seconds after the timeout. <laughs> how mad is Sonic Kids right now? Uh, that's funny. But anyway, uh, they're going to be able to survive. And honestly, I have to say, uh, the WLS played played quite well. Just to even leave, just, just to even live, man. Uh, I think that's it's it's not easy to survive against a comp like that. So. Uh, tip of the hat there to the WLS. I have to say they played very well defensively. I mean, they couldn't really get too much done offensively, but uh, I think they're at a pretty big comp disadvantage right now. You know, Riles' team, I love their opener, man. I, I thought they did such a good job in the opener there. Uh, they were being so aggressive on the Shaman. They got, you know, Trinket, Hellstone, Battlemaster, a lot of cooldowns instantly from that Shaman. Uh, and I thought that was that it was just going to be a, a simple... A simple swap back to the shaman and, and finish him off, but um, they they weren't able to do it. You know, they they decided to go on the warrior instead, and the warrior was playing uh, extremely defensive, and he was able to play very very well defensively. He was able to get out of there constantly every time he needed to. You know, he he was rotating his cooldowns very well. He would intervene out of LOS and leap out of LOS and uh, gate across the map, etc. etc. So. He played it how he needed to, and, and that's going to be enough, man, for him to be able to survive and for uh, them to get that timeout. So they're going to be at a point of peace, but uh, really, how does the WLS get a kill here? Um, I'm not sure. So, guys, we are queued back up into Nagrand Arena. And uh, we are going to just wait for the game to pop. But in the meantime, if you guys have any questions, comments, etc. for me, you can tweet to me. I'm at EG Azale on Twitter. And I'll be uh, checking out your messages and everything, your comments uh, throughout the day. Soul casting. Soul casting ain't so easy. It's nice to be able to uh, to have some stuff to, to re you know, reply to and to chat about and things like that. So you guys are interested in that give me a shout I may start searching for uh, a co-commentator a little bit we'll see we'll see if uh, someone wants to come in Paul Emerson. <laughs> uh, I don't think Emerson wants to commentate, man. He quit. Uh, you can't use you can't use add-ons at live tournaments, but because because there's no way to check if people are using add-ons online, um, you can't you can't regulate that. So a full add people use full add-ons online. Uh, a lot of people do at least because. You can't really do anything about it. There, how do you know? You know if someone's using add-ons or not. You can't really tell. So, all right. So the countdown has begun here. Just waiting for this team to get it going. Jaeger Mercer team and Sonic Kids. They're messing with me, man. They're they're giving me that timeout. Trying to make it hard on me. We'll see if uh, someone's gonna get a kill earlier this time around. Shergo sure, gets the gateway down. Uh, going to be mounting up. He's going to be charging in. They want to start it off uh, aggressively here. Uh, Klonurek is going to be uh, moving up there as well. But Napper Colt sitting back. And they're, they're going to think better of it. They, they're realizing, eh, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. So they're going to pull back. Uh, we see uh, Echo going to be feared off there. Uh, the Pounce Clone going to be locked out full. Nice job there by Shirko. Uh, he's going to be able to shut that down. Riles going to be into the howl. Uh, there's the Sheep overlap with the... Uh, with the ring, and they're going to start off hard on Napper Cole once again. Uh, DP comes in onto him, and oh my god, look at his HP. It's just evaporating. He needs to get out of there right now. He may just die, though. Yep, that's that. Okay, well, I asked for a faster game, and I guess we got one. And Napper Cole unable to battle master Trinket, Hellstone, do anything. Uh, and he's just going to die about a second into that game, man. So 
you know, maybe they should have just uh, been going for that shaman. Like I said, seems like a pretty good strat. Seems like a pretty good strat to me. Worked out that game. All right. So anyway, uh, Sonic Kids. Oh, oops, wrong team. Sonic Kids gonna be able to take down the shaman there pretty quickly, and they are gonna claim that first series, man. They are gonna get it. Uh, took them a little bit longer maybe than they wanted, but they got that first best of three win, and uh, they looked good doing it. And now, really, the question is, does the Airmaster team pick WLS again? I mean, they survived the first game, but really, were they ever going to get a kill? No, they were not. Um, so I don't think they can really afford to just pick the same thing once again. I just think it would be a big mistake to go back uh, to the exact same pick. How did he have three orbs? I think he was just attacking the gateway. And who knows if uh, if he actually had three orbs or not. It could have been like a one orb DP or something. It doesn't. It doesn't really mean it was a three orb DP. But 